Yellowstone National Park is home to one of the world's most famous and most visited volcanic systems, the Yellowstone Caldera. The supervolcano stretches 30 miles by 45 miles and has captivated scientists and the public for generations. In recent years, one question has become increasingly pressing. As the question suggests, the question is when, not if, the volcano will erupt again, and knowing when that will happen is important. Recent research and monitoring efforts have revealed zones of potential activity and the risks they pose. But future eruptions are notoriously difficult to predict. Scientists from the United States Geological Survey, USGS, have identified several interesting zones where future volcanic activity could occur using magnetodaluric measurements. These measurements, which indicate the conductivity of molten rock beneath the Earth's crust, can help scientists estimate the amount of volcanic activity and the caldera's potential to erupt. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, has identified a partially molten rhyolite magma chamber beneath the northeastern part of the park. The findings suggest that, if an eruption were to occur, it would likely breach the surface of the area. While the prospect of a volcanic eruption at Yellowstone is a subject of scientific interest, current data suggests that such an event is unlikely to occur within our lifetimes. The USGS continues to closely monitor the area, ensuring public safety and providing updates on any significant changes in volcanic activity.